Days Gone, a new Sony exclusive offering from the siphon filter makers at Ben Studio has officially released to warm reviews. The action-adventure survival horror features a traditional zombie apocalypse, but with a stellar narrative in a beautiful open-world setting. Humanity has pretty much perished, leaving millions as nocturnal mindless creatures that are quickly evolving. Considering the dangers that await you in the wilds, make sure to go through a bunch of tips and tricks before starting your adventure. Hi there, I'm Wes Mal from Segment Next, and here's what you need to know. Remember to hit the bell icon to get all notifications on our future content. What's the best weapon? Chicago Chopper is what you need to have in the game. It's a submachine gun with a large clip and a high rate of fire that can kill enemies with just a couple of bullets. Unfortunately, the weapon can only be purchased from a merchant found at the Wizard Island camp that you will come across fairly late in the game. How to find fuel You can refill your motorcycle at fuel stations marked on the map. You can also find fuel canisters inside safe areas. While they both offer infinite fuel, there aren't a lot of fuel stations and fuel canisters in the game, so make sure to fill up every now and then. What to do when the motorcycle runs empty? It's firstly important to keep watching the fuel gauge. However, if you do run out of fuel, the map will highlight the nearest available fuel canister. You'll have to go on foot to retrieve those cans before riding again. There's no other way. How to find scrap The most efficient way of finding scrap for crafting and repair is from looting the motors of cars. You can also find scrap at random in the wilds, mostly near buildings and off enemies. Take note that scrap respawns at the same locations, so remember where you found a bunch of them in order to return later. How to find ammo There are several ways to find ammo. The first and best option early on is from looting police cars. You can also find ammo boxes at random in the wilds, or from dead enemies as long as they had the same weapon as you. Finally, you can purchase ammo from merchants, but that will be fairly expensive. Similar to scrap, they also respawn at the same locations. How to swim You can't. You can only stay above the water for a few seconds before drowning. In some cases, your motorcycle might land in water. If this happens, you'll want to respawn the machine, preferably close to a safe area. You can also retrieve your motorcycle at camps if you left it behind there by talking to the mechanic. How to quick switch for melee Every second counts against a charging horde. Rather than waste time reloading, make sure to quickly switch weapons for a melee attack. You don't even have to equip the melee weapon at all. Just press R2 for a quick melee attack using the melee weapon you last selected in the weapon wheel. You can also quick switch between primary and secondary weapons by pressing triangle or to your special weapons by holding the triangle for a couple of seconds. How to manage the weapon locker You'll soon notice that despite having a weapon locker, you can't store any weapons dropped by enemies. The only weapons that you can add to your weapon locker are the ones you purchase from merchants at camps. These will be permanently available all the time. The weapons you loot from enemies will be left behind after you find something new. Can you roam freely after the end? The main storyline will take you more than 60 hours at least to complete. However, when done, you can choose to freely roam the world. This means you can return to all regions and camps and explore what you left behind. However, there are exceptions. There's one camp that will be flooded after the storyline has concluded, so you won't be able to visit that location at least. What's the point of no return? It's fairly important to note that while you can backtrack during the story, there are two points of no return. The first is at the end of the third region called Lost Lake. The second is at the end of the fifth region called Crater Lake. In both cases, you'll be locked out of certain regions, their camps, and merchants once you move forward with their respective missions. Days Gone is now available exclusively for the PlayStation 4. Are you playing it? How are you finding its post-apocalyptic open world? Hey, we'd love to hear from you, so let us know in the comments below.